Speaking of wild, we're getting wild with Lion Country Safari. Wildlife trainer Anna Samaru and Haley Possessor, public relations associate, are showing off some of their friends. You never know what they're going to bring in the studio. I saw them walk in with a box, and I was like, uh-oh, what's happening here? But we're joined with Kiva, right? Tell us about her. Yes, this is Kiva. She is our Harris's hawk. Uh, these beautiful birds are native to America. They're found in the southwest United States, as well as Central and South America. And she's 17? She is 17 years old, estimated. Uh, they live around 15 to 20 out in the wild, and under human care, they can live into their 30s. Okay, and a member of the raptor family, um, you, a lot of people ask every time we have these kind of interviews come in, uh, why do you have the big glove on? And it's not because she's mean, right? No, she just has very strong talons and a very powerful grip. Uh, they can have a grip force of around 200 PSI. And it comes in handy for hunting. Right? Yes, yeah, these guys actually do hunt in groups, so is what they're going to do is they're going to work together. They're going to help take down something. It might be a little bit bigger than one bird could tackle alone. They can flush something. How big out are of we talking? Bush. As something like a jackrabbit is okay, probably so what they're going to go for. So not like a TV anchor or something like that? <laughs> no, okay. you should be okay. Just check it, just check it. So they are social animals then? They are. Uh, they actually do live in groups. So the females are dominant. So an individual like Kiva here would be large and in charge. The females are about 25% larger than the males. And they live with one to two males that actually help take care of the offspring as well. And also multiple generations of offspring will stick together as well and help yes, take and she, care uh, of them. She's been very babies. vocal so far this morning. We hear her grunting and making all those, uh, I don't know what sound. Uh, the <laughs> yeah, sound, she just, they are very vocal because they do live in the family group. So they do have to communicate with okay. one another. She's making that known for sure. And also, Haley, we have some safari babies over at, we uh, do. don't um, we? Very excited. So um, we have that Siming baby, and then we also have Baby Bash, our, our southern white rhinoceros. Oh, man. Um, Very rare, huh? They are pretty rare. There's only um, just a few rhino births every year, um, and we do participate in the conservation program for rhinos. So we participate in that species survival plan uh, to help the rhinos uh, population survive, basically. An awfully cute. You said Bash is the Yes, name? his name is Bash. It's, uh, it's a name with African origins that means the forerunner, and he is actually the first child for both his mom, Anna, uh, and his dad, Chitabe. Oh, congratulations to them and also Halloween events coming up. Yes, it is. We have a lot of exciting activities for our Halloween event. We'll have uh, activities and crafts for the children, uh, DJ, treat stations, and then also some really cool special experiences to raise money for conservation. Always a party over there. <laughs> yes. And good news coming out of Lion Country Safari. We're always happy to have you guys in studio. Who knows what they're going to bring next? You see the uh, event details there for the Halloween party we were just mentioning on your screen. If you want to check it out, we'll also post that on our website. But thanks for being here. Thanks so much for having thank us. You. And thank you too, Kiva. <laughs>